Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey Calvary, thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert and we're looking at Philippians 1 uh, verses 21 through 26. If you want to uh, pause and get a Bible or a Bible app on your device ready, uh, you can go ahead and do that. And uh, while you're doing that, I've got a question. Uh, what is it that you desire? What are you longing for? What are you hoping for? What do you want more of in your life right now? Is it more material things. You want a better house or a bigger house or a house that you own instead of renting. Is it that you want a newer, better, faster, cooler car? Uh, I always like faster things. Is it that you want more of experiences? You want cooler vacations or cooler uh, things that you get to go do? Do you want a better job? Do you want more money? Do you want less struggle? Do you want better relationships? What are you longing for? I ask this because in Philippians chapter 1, we get a sneak peek at the Apostle Paul and the things he was longing for. And I think as we look to this, it gives us a lot of, of guidance and instruction for what we should be longing for in our life. So Philippians 1, I'm going to start in verse 21. This was in yesterday's episode, but we'll continue the thought. And he says this, For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. If I am to live in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. Yet which I shall choose, I cannot tell. I'm hard pressed between the two. My desire is to depart and be with Christ, for that is far better. But to remain in the flesh is more necessary on your account. Convinced of this, I know I will remain and continue with you all for your progress and joy in the faith, so that in me you may have ample cause to glory in Christ Jesus because of my coming to you again. Now, it's actually really interesting when we step back and think about what Paul is actually expressing here because he's debating in his mind if he wants to die and go to heaven with Jesus or if he wants to stay on earth and continue to serve and represent Jesus to the people around him. But in either case, his desire boils down to he wants to be close to Jesus. He wants to either serve him more in this life or he wants this life to end so he can go and be in glory and perfection and celebrate and rejoice with Jesus in heaven. Now, this is even more powerful when we think about the context. He's not writing this from his, you know, his, his writing desk in the corner of his house overlooking this beautiful mountain range or anything like that. He's writing this from prison, from what we can only imagine to be a dark, cold, nasty prison cell. And yet he's not saying that he wants freedom or he wants, the, he wants some air conditioning or heating. He's not saying that he wants the guards to be nicer to him or the food to be less awful or for any of that. He's saying, I want to serve Jesus or worship him face to face. I can't pick between which of those two is a greater desire. So let me ask you, what is your desire? If you were to take the question I started with of what are you longing for more of is Jesus at the top of that list? Is he in the top three? Did he make the podium of the things that you want in life? Or is he way down on the list? Because what we understand from Scripture is that if we're putting anything in the number one slot of our life for the things we are desiring and hoping for and are pursuing, and it's not Jesus, we're going to be let down. So let me encourage you to really look and ask yourself, are you longing for and desiring more of Jesus in your life to serve him, to, to devote your life to his mission? Are you looking to heaven as your eternal home and saying, this life can't actually provide all of the desires I have, but heaven is my destination and my source of hope? Are those things true? Because they were true for the Apostle Paul, and you can see how in a situation that could have caused such despair, it's just full of, wonderful, optimistic choices that he's struggling to choose between. And I hope that today God would give you incredible choices to serve him and, and you would be struck between those two while also holding the fact that heaven is our home and we have the incredible joy that it is far better than anything this world can offer us. I hope that encourages you today and I hope that draws you to Jesus. Have a great day, Calvary.